everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here in Mission BC and we're gonna do a little thrift change today. I'm really excited for this. Last time I was at this value village, I got my best thrift haul ever. Legit, I got my best thrift haul ever and I was so, so excited about it. I even made a video about it. I link it down below in the description if you wanna check it out. But other than that, I have not been here since I thrifted here last time and I'm really crossing my fingers that I do well today because I drove all the way out here and that'd be kind of disappointing. But you know, we're gonna go in with high hopes, so let's go thrifting. But before we do, I do want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa, the jewelry company that I'm wearing today. So I'm excited to tell you more about the company and their sustainability. But before we do that, we got to do some thrifting. I just donated, so I got a coupon. So now let's, let's go thrifting. Okay, so I did really well in the bags last time, so I'm gonna check out all these purses here and see if we have anything cute. I know I found a leather vintage backpack here last time, and it was such a score, so let's hope I find another cute bag today. Ooh, this is, this is cute. Damn, this is so cool. Look at this, it's like made out of jeans. So far, I haven't had the best of luck in the bags. Oh, this one's kind of cute, actually. Here is another fossil purse. This one is like a fabric one. It's $7.99, oh, that's a good deal. There is a lot of fossil purses here. I found this other one right here, this black one. I'm not like a huge fan of this one, so I'm gonna leave it, but this one is $10, which I think is a great deal for an actual leather fossil purse. Okay, clearly it is a bag day today because I'm just here in like the backpack area and look at this backpack I found, or bag, I, don't, I guess you would call it a backpack, just like this, but Oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. And then I went to go look at the tag, like what is this? And it is a handmade bag that was made in Ecuador. Look at this, 80% wool, 10% leather, 10% cotton. So all of this is leather, this is all wool, and then obviously a little bit of cotton somewhere. And it's probably like a wool blend with cotton, but look at this. Okay, so I had to stop going through the bags because half my cart is already bags now. So now I'm in the men's section. I'm gonna go through all the men's and I'm just gonna work my way through all the clothes from like this side of the store to the other side and just see what I find because this value village isn't like crazy big. So I think I'll be able to get through all the clothes today. I think so. And I'm really feeling good because holy moly, my cart's already half full and I've only went through like one section. Okay, so now for the tees. I don't think there's that many. Oh, there's a decent amount. So I'm gonna go through. I'm just gonna through for like extra large looking for oversized. I found this one Kelvin Klein one, but I'm gonna pass on that one. Oh, here's another Kelvin one. Hmm. Hmm, do I get this? Look at this Disney shirt. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay. As you can hear, all my laundry going in the background as I wash all the clothes that I purchased today from today's thrift with me. I wanna share with you all today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is Ana Luisa, a jewelry company from the United States. And I'm so excited to share with you all because their main focus is affordability, and of course, sustainability are two favorite things on this channel. They're amazing because all their solid gold pieces are made from 100% recycled gold, along with their sterling silver pieces are made from 100% recycled sterling silver. It's crazy. As for their brass, it is eco-friendly and all the diamonds they use are lab grown, meaning that there's no mining that has to be done to get these diamonds. As for the jewelry that I picked out, today I am wearing the Ava set. This is the jewelry set right here. It comes with three pieces, one, two, three, as you, I don't know why I counted that out, but it comes with three pieces, which is pretty amazing. They all go so nicely together. You can wear them all together. You can wear them singly or you can wear two together. It really doesn't matter, but what is really amazing about them is that they all are different lengths, so they can go perfectly together, but they also can go perfectly with your other jewelry. As for my earrings, I paired it with the Riviera earrings right here. I absolutely love them. They're just a little dangly earrings. I love wearing hoop earrings, gold especially. I love wearing gold, so I actually love these. It's kind of like a little star that it has almost like a little gemstone in the center. It's my absolute favorite earrings right now. I love that all their jewelry is very simple, minimalist, and also very dainty. I feel like it goes well with pretty much every outfit, so you pretty much you can wear this with anything. I ended up wearing this of jewelry for my wedding photos or my 
initial wedding they weren't actually my wedding photos but i <laughs> took wedding photos on the day we were supposed to get married but then you know it got postponed to next year because of the pandemic so my pandemic wedding photos i ended up wearing this set right here and they absolutely looked amazing with my dress as for price their jewelry starts at 39 dollars, which is pretty crazy to get really nice quality jewelry that also is tarnish free but again, I want to say thank you so much to today's sponsor, Anna Luisa. It's also very kind and gave you all a coupon code so you can get 10% off your next order at AnnaLuisa.com. All you have to do is enter the coupon code JennaFips10 at checkout and you'll get 10% off your whole order. Okay, so now we are in the men's denim here. I'm hoping I find something. I have been kind of dry lately in the denim section for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just the prices are kind of high for me. Um, oh, it's Levi's. Levi's, look at this. I've never seen an orange pair of Levi's like this. Damn. Okay, so I'm just in the sweaters right now and I just came across this sweater which doesn't look like anything, but then I flip it over and it's freaking University of Idaho, the school I went to in the States. That is so random because I'm in Canada and we are nowhere near University of Idaho. Whoa, look at this Disneyland sweater. I have definitely seen a lot of Disney today and a lot are actually like older, probably like a 2000s I would say and it is beautiful the only thing is that there's like a hole here so that kind of sucks because that's right in the middle but i'm looking at this i'm like what can i do to this to make it really really awesome again because it's a really cool piece and i see lots of potential so this is what i love thrifting is items that you know might have a hole in it but i see a lot of potential like look at that embroidery so we're definitely picking this up and that will be a thrift flip along with i found this nike sweater here i don't know if they'll get it but again it's a larger size i want to say it's like a double xl or no it's a large okay it's a large but you can see there's a lot of fabric here and i love this nike here it looks like again 90s 2000s i would say and all i'm thinking about here is this could be a really rad thrift flip so i think i'm done in the men's section now i just went through the sweaters i found a few that i'm going to be doing thrift flips with because I think that's the most important thing when you go to the thrift store, if you do like sewing and you do like thrift flips, is look for items with potential, not items that are just like perfect because it's hard to find perfect items here. I know there's a lot of items that are really worn down. So I always like finding items that do have a lot of potential. Like say you find a really nice graphic or an item you like the fabric or just the brand and it's too big, big, it's smaller. Or like what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna just change them into something totally different. So I'm excited for those thrift flips and I'm just gonna keep going because I'm just doing so well today. So I'm here in the summer dresses right now and I just came across this really beautiful romper here. It just feels so nice. And then when I went to go look at the tag, it's from Urban Outfitters and I never find Urban Outfitters. I am so excited for this. This is beautiful. Or, you know, if my sister was here, she would say it looks like a picnic blanket, which it kind of does, but I'm just, I'm just digging it. So let's put it in the cart. Damn, look at this vintage coat I just found on the end over here, just sitting there and, oh damn, I'm liking it. I'm really liking this, look at this. So I'm like halfway through the store, right, wait, wait, wait. What is this? No way. Shut the front door. So I think someone just put these back because these were just on the end of the aisle and look at these Levi's. Look at these Levi's, oh my goodness. I don't know what size they are, but they look like they'd fit. So we're just gonna put her in my cart because oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I can't believe how well I'm doing. I'm gonna go through the women's denim because there could be so many more gems in here. So I'm gonna start looking because oh my gosh, another Levi's. Okay, I'm a little speechless right now because I just found something that I've never found in my life and I am just trying to hold it in right now because I might cry, I might cry. I just found vintage Levi's, the perfect mom jean. Like I spent, I spent a lot of money for my vintage Levi's that I have, the mom jeans one, not men's ones, but actual like 90s mom jeans, vintage Levi's. Yes, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but. Look at these, look at this tag. Oh my gosh, I've been thrifting for I don't know how many years now and well a long time I don't even remember and I've never ever ever found vintage Levi mom jeans that are women's. Like I found vintage Levi's that are men, but never women. Oh my gosh. And you know why I found them? It's because they were put in the wrong section. They are listed as a size nine, 
on the tag here, but this is a vintage size nine, so they are not a size nine for nowadays. So that being said, they said they saw size nine and they put it in the size nine because it says size nine, but it's vintage sizing, so it's not today's standard. But oh my gosh, I've been talking too long. Oh, I can't believe I found that. Oh my goodness, look at this brand new Levi's. Brand new Levi's here. What the heck? Champion shirt for $2.50. Yeah, sure. Let's put this in the cart. Okay, so I'm just in the t-shirts and I'm getting close to finishing them. I think I just have like the sweaters and then the jackets left over and then I'm done the women's section and it's kind of slowed down a bit. I'm not really finding much right now, but my cart is packed so I really don't need to find anything else. Okay, so I just finished up all the clothes in the store and as I was finishing up in the sweater section, I saw this vintage Mickey shirt. Can it get any better? Like my luck today is up here and I've, I've never had it that high before. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ooh, this one's a really cute one. This one looks kind of vintage, almost like the seventies colors. I don't know, this one looks really cool. So let's see this one. I think that's really cute. This would be so cute in your hair. So let's put that in there and keep looking, keep looking. Okay, so I'm done in the scarf section now. So I'm gonna go to the shoes and then after that, I'm gonna sort through all my clothes because I have a lot here, but I think I'm gonna end up getting a lot just because I wanna save some of them for the mystery boxes that I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. I just sold them. So I'm just waiting to get like all the info from everyone. So we're gonna, we're gonna get a, quite a bit today. Shoes has never really been my friend, unfortunately, even though I like shoes. I like shoes, but they don't really seem to like me. They just never really fit right. Well, these are cute. These little, what do you call these? I guess they're heels, but are they like little dainty heels? Like these are cute. The only thing is I don't really wear heels, but I can't hate on the shoe section too much because I'm actually wearing shoes that I bought from a thrift store, these Fila ones. So. I actually found something, so it's not like I've never found shoes at the thrift store. It's just very, very limited for myself. So these are some nice, big, chunky monkeys. Look at those. I love me some chunky shoes. I don't know the brand. I don't think there is a brand. I didn't check out the fabric section. Oh my gosh, I love the fabric section. It's like one of my favorite sections at the thrift store. So I'm gonna check out the fabric and see if there's anything that I can do like a little thrift look with. Oh my gosh, there's so much fabric here. Look at all that fabric. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Oh, it's even, is this what? No, is this denim? This is like a denim-like. Ooh, this, this one's a really pretty print. They have some nice stuff here. I also like this plaid. There's also this plaid here. Although plaid is a little scary to work with when you're making things from scratch, especially if you want everything to line up. So I don't know what I wanna, oh no. What the heck is this? this fabric or a blanket so like i mentioned before i am a little bit obsessed with this section just because um i don't really have a reason to be honest i like to think that i sew a lot and just i'm just a crazy you know seamstress but i'm i'm not i just really like fabric and buying things so i think that's why this section is one of my favorite i've also have like a little hoarding addiction with fabric lately where i go to the thrift store buy some fabric and then I just put it underneath my bed you know hopefully one day I will make something with it maybe not but that is kind of my life lately going to the thrift stores and finding fabric and then just putting it underneath my bed look at this you can get a full roll of fabric for $12.99 like I swear there's probably like like 20 or 30 meters in here it's crazy but on another note, I have made a goal for myself that I'm going to produce or not produce. What am I talking about? Make a video and film a video of me creating 20 purses for the 20,000 subscribers I've recently hit. I'm going to put this out there so this actually happens. So you've heard it now. It's going to happen in a few weeks. Oh, yeah. And I almost forgot. All the clothes that I'm going to be, or not clothes, all the purses I'm going to be making are going to be 100% made out of thrifted items like clothes fabric, etc. So some of the items you saw today might be a person in a couple weeks.
because I'm just doing so well at this thrift store, I gotta go through everything. Like I'm legit going through like the whole thrift store and that's really like never happens for me. So I gotta show you what I just found. Look at this, it comes with a peacock chair and you can put like a little plant on there. Then it also has a rocking chair and then a little chair. And I just thought this would be so cute just to put like little plants on. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I don't know if I want these two, but I'm definitely really loving this little peacock chair. Oh my goodness. It is so cute. Hold up, hold up. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this. There's a big one. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Okay. I don't have room for her. Oh my goodness. Speaking of that, it's actually my dad's birthday today. Maybe I should pick this up and get some for his birthday today. I do not miss my boot at all. I am so glad I have both feet back. Dang, look at this golf bag. This golf bag's red. Wow, there's some really cool outdoor stuff. Look at this backpack. That is so cool for hiking. It looks vintage. I don't know, that is red. So I'm about to just go pay now, but I gotta show you my cart before I do. Like, I can't believe I found this many good things. Look at my cart. This is after I decided to do everything. This is everything I'm getting. Like, look at this. This is crazy. I folded it all nicely too and took off the hangers, like everything. Like I tried to make it look as little as possible and this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. This guy's watching me while I film. This is really awkward. Mm, this is awkward. Do you think after doing YouTube for a while and filming in public all the time, you wouldn't, you know, be so awkward when people watch you film? But it doesn't get any easier. It's still awkward when you film in public. So, yeah. Okay. I did. Well, I spent $92 in there. And that's a lot because I never spend that much at the thrift store. I spent $92. I almost spent $100 in there. Holy. That's a lot of money in the thrift store. That's a lot of money. So the haul that I will be publishing in my next video is going to be massive. It's going to be massive. So if you want to be notified when that video goes live, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when the video goes live. But that is it for today's video. I want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. But before I say goodbye, I do want to remind you guys, if you do want 10% off Ana Luisa, the jewelry that I'm wearing here, and so many other really amazing jewelry, you can go get 10% off if you use my link down below and use the coupon code. And that is it now. That is it. I just want to give you a little reminder, but thank you again for watching today's video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.